best way to to find a good goal is going to disco club. <laughs> it's the best place to go get laid. <laughs> How to meet your beautiful Ukrainian wife on a beer budget or on a budget is the topic of this video. A lot of you guys just, you know, get on a plane and come to Ukraine looking for your lady, which is an awesome idea. It's way better than surfing online and getting scammed, which is 99% of the online game. So much better to get on a plane. Okay, so you get here, you arrive in Kiev best city right uh, Anna and I just did a video uh, talking about the five cities in Ukraine that have the most beautiful women so that is in the description below you want to check that out to see which city you should go to uh, but then when you get here uh, how to meet them how to meet them I'm sitting with my beautiful co-host Anna welcome Anna hey guys what do you think, Anna? What is the best way for guys to meet ladies that don't speak Russian or Ukrainian language and they're here, they don't know the culture, they don't know nothing? How to start? Should they just wander out and about and try to talk to girls? Or, you know, what's a strategy they should follow? When you're already inside for build relationship, you can find uh, her anywhere, you know? Uh, even in the street, <laughs> talking and meet a girl in real life, yeah. Why not? Uh, but uh, the problem is that uh, in Ukraine, not uh, too much girls. They know English. It's true in the street, so it's not easy to find even somebody you can talk to. And um, and if if you are lucky and find somebody to talk, <laughs> uh, second problem and she can be married or in relationship. <laughs> <laughs> or, or even if she interested in for in relationship with you, she don't want to move abroad to leave. <laughs> yeah, like statistics are that uh, between seven and nine percent of any given Ukrainian women on the street would be interested in even dating, let let alone marrying a foreigner. So your odds are stacked against you there. The best way to to find a good girl is going to disco club. <laughs> Yeah? Good girls in the disco clubs. <laughs> okay, I'm shook. Yes, it's, it's a it, joke. It's, you know, it's... Um, it's the best place to go get laid. <laughs> you know, if, if that's your end game, is you want to get laid, okay, go to the club. And <laughs> there's a lot of uh, working girls in the club, right? That's true. It's, you know, it's a pity, but uh, there is a lot of bad girls who is working and they, you know... Mm -hmm. You know what <laughs> offers the you. Well, and, and the thing is, uh, they might be working, um, you know, explicitly or implicitly. So explicitly, you know, you're going to know the price and all that. Uh, implicitly, uh, it's more of um, a scam, really. But uh, it's a heart scam. So you might, she might start a relationship with you, but she, her intention is just to milk everything she can from you. But those are the kind of girls that uh, hang out predominantly in the clubs. So uh, definitely don't go to the clubs if you want to meet a serious girl that's looking for love and marriage. So that's where not to go. Yeah. <laughs> but where to go, Anna? Yeah, you, you can meet uh, one girl in, some girl in club, but uh, she can came there, you know, just to, with her friends to celebrate her birthday or your, you know, her birthday of her friends. By accident, I can say, but not usual. It's like something like this. Yeah, it's rare. It's mm -hmm. a rarity, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in my opinion, if you have some different ho hobbies or interests in your country, so you can do the same. For example, if you like dance and with a desk, dance class, class in your country, so you can try like, like and go in Ukraine the same dance class and uh, find your partner which you have common interests in. Like you mean take dance lessons? Yes, yes. Yeah, take dance lessons. If you like the salsa, Take dance lessons. I mean, basically, immerse yourself into the culture here as much mm. as possible. That's the best tip, you know, because if you want to meet uh, normal good girls, uh, you got to be in their environment. And they're just out and about living a normal life, right? Yes, uh, of course. I mean, you can m meet her in the Silpo, in the shopping lineup, uh, because that's what normal girls <laughs> go and buy food, right? Because they don't eat too much in restaurants here because they don't have the budget for it. Um, but, yeah, it's great tip what Anna gave you. Um, try to do what you love and uh, I mean isn't it true we tend to uh, meet our best partners when we're in, in we're happy right we're doing things in life that we love to do so she loves to do it you love to do it it's already a common uh, bond you have yeah 
Uh, also another way maybe uh, like to visit a church the same you visit in your country and it's like very also good way to find your soulmate. True, true, I, I agree. Uh, and keep in mind, in the Orthodox faith, uh, you're going to stand in church for three hours and they don't speak English. <laughs> it's all in the, uh, but there are Protestant churches in Ukraine. About 5% of the Ukraine is Protestant, 95% Ukrainian Orthodox. So that's according to Wikipedia anyway. Uh, so it's a great place to meet, uh, if you're a Christian, to meet at church. Good tip. Um, what, 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 what about uh, how uh, can guys overcome the language barrier like um, and how to approach like how to pick up girls in ukraine what, what should a guy say how should he approach her any tips about that in my opinion he just have to be confident you know when he comes to a woman uh, he didn't like he doesn't need to look like he's lost you know and don't know what to say <laughs> it will be funny <laughs> just but he's uh, he's start any topic, you know, it doesn't matter. But the uh, woman just, uh, she understood that he's interested only in she and she, if she is free and, you know, uh, oriented on relationship, she, she will easily give you a number, you know, and uh, accept your invitation for, you know, for coffee or like, you know, when she have time to meet with you. I think, Anna, what she said just now is the most important tip you guys need to hear. Um, you know, fuck Alpha Beta. Sorry for my French, but these women want a confident man. Alpha Beta, it's not so important. Confidence is important because they want to know that they can rely upon you. You know, if you approach her with confidence, she gets some feel that you're a man that could take care of her and her family potentially in the future. But <laughs> like Anna says, if you look lost and like you don't know what you're doing, uh, you're probably not going to uh, catch her interest. So great tips, I think, guys. Um, the point of this video is simply this. It's not easy to come here and meet someone, to engage them, to pick them up, you know, start conversation and start a relationship. And of course, and then have it lead to love and marriage. But your chances are far greater to just get on a plane and come here and pull this off than it is doing anything online. Stay offline. Don't pay a dime online and never send money. Invest your money in an airline ticket and some expenditures to come here and just meet ladies out and about. So that's about it. Thank you, Anna. It was a Thank good you, video, Peter. I think. And good luck, guys, on your journey looking for love in Ukraine.